Hey everyone, this is the Math 20-1 uh, Radicals and Absolute Values Review. This is question six. Uh, we've got a square inside a square. I mean, you can read the question here, but it's a square inside a square. And when we take a look at it, they tell us here that the, ins the side of the inside, or the, the length of the inside square here is 12. So what we want to do is figure out what the side of the larger square is. Okay? Well, if this is 12, now we're going to assume these are the same. Well, that's not even, we assume they're the same. We're told that you join the midpoints here. So if we call this piece x, this piece x here, we know that x squared plus x squared has to equal 12 squared. Okay? So 2x squared has to equal 144. Divide by 2, x squared has got to equal 72. And if you take the square root, okay, we get x is equal to the square root of 72. Now normally I'd write plus or minus, but because we are dealing with the side of a, of a square, it's got to be plus. And then I would reduce this, okay, because 72 is the same as the square root of, and then there's a lot going on here. This is 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8 times 9. So there's a pair of 2's and a pair of 3's that I can pull out of that. So for 6 root 2, but that is just x there. Okay, and then the side length of the larger square is going to be twice that. So therefore, therefore, uh, the answer is the side is going to be equal to 12 root 2. Okay, now this is, this is a, a weird sort of way to answer, to end this, but regardless, whatever, whatever they do here. I'm supposed to answer B to the A, given the context here, okay. So really, I got to answer 2 to the 12 now, or sorry, it's not equal to, but it becomes 2 to the 12. So 2 to the power of 12 is 4,096. Now, it's kind of a weird way to end that, but that's the answer that this question is looking for.